good morning friends now we are going to solve the lagrange's linear equation in partial differential equation the equation of the form capital p into small p and capital q into small q equal to r is known as lagrange's equation where where p capital p capital q and capital r are functions of x y and z to solve this lagrange's linear equation first we are going to form the subsidiary equation or you can call in another name of axillary equation the form of the axillary equation is dx by capital p equal to dy by capital q equal to dz by capital r generally the axillary equation can be solved in two ways the two methods the method one is method of grouping and the second method is method of multipliers the method of grouping in the axillary equation dx by capital p and dy by capital q equal to dz by capital r if the variables can be separated in any pair of equations you can select one or one and two or two or three or one or three that's your choice then we can get a solution of the form u of x comma y equal to c1 and v of x comma y equal to c2 then the solution of pd is of the form pi of u comma v equal to 0 now we'll discuss a few simple problems in this case solve px plus qy equal to z this given problem small p into x plus small q into y equal to z where capital p is what the coefficient of the small p capital q is the coefficient of the small q uh, and equal to z where therefore the capital p equal to x capital q equal to y capital r equal to z to, we have to form always a subject equation before going to solve i told you very clearly the subject equation form is a dx by capital p equal to dy by capital q equal to dz by capital r by in this way here the capital x where the p capital b value is what x and uh, dy by capital q equal to y dz by x i told you if we have that what this is we are going to make a group so choice is you can consider the first and second or first and third or second and third so now here we consider the first and second dx by x equal to dy by y integrating on both the sides we get some dx by x integrating both the sides we are getting what integration of 1 by x log x and integration of 1 by y here we are doing that indefinite integration that's the reason we are going to add always the constants so that's why isn't you are getting a log of c1 now we are very clear in this log x log x minus log y equal to log c1 by using the rule log m minus log m it denotes log x by y equal to log c1 Therefore, that cancelling a uh, log both the sides x by y equal to c1. Similarly, we are going to consider the another another two. First, we taken one and two. Now we are consider that another two sets, second and what third. Uh, by considering this dy by y equal to dz by z, integrating on both sides dy by y and integrating dz by z. The integration of 1 by y is what come log y equal to log z we are already using this constant of c1 now we are putting the another one constant is what log c2 by using the same rule log y minus log z equal to log c2 log m minus log n minus log m is what log m by n by using that same rule log y by z and log c2 cancelling a log both sides we are getting the result is what y by z equal to c2 now we are going to write the result in the form of pi of u comma v therefore it is we are going to write in the form of pi of x y y z equal to zero this is the required form of pde now similarly we will discuss few more simple problems solve p x square plus q y square equal to z square I told you very clearly the coefficient of small p and the coefficient of small q or capital P and capital Q. Therefore, the given problem capital P equal to x square and capital Q equal to y square then r equal to z square. I told you you can consider the, uh, you can first you are going to form the subsidiary equation or the axillary equation. Therefore, dx by x square equal to 
dy by y square equal to dz by z square. You can consider the any two for forming a group. First, we are going to consider that first and what third. The choice is yours. You can consider the any two. If you are going to consider that the first and third, you are getting what dx by x square and dz by z square. So you are going to do the integration on both the sides. dx by x square then dz by z square. So integration of dx by x square become minus 1 by ax equal to minus 1 by z plus c1. Here you can cancel minus 1 by ax plus 1 by z equal to c1. Then you can multiply with minus both the sides you can put like this 1 by x minus 1 by z equal to c1 similarly you can consider the another two sets first and second uh, you are getting that what dx by x square equal to dy by y square similarly you are doing that integration applying the integration on both the sides integration of dy by y square you are getting the result is minus integration of 1 by x square become minus 1 by ax integration of 1 by y square minus 1 by y plus c2 now cancelling that uh, minus both the sides otherwise you can take it this is also 1 by x plus 1 by y equal to c2 multiplying the minus 1 by x minus 1 by y equal to c2 uh, the required equation of pde is pi of 1 by x minus 1 by z 1 by x minus 1 by y equal to 0 there is no rule at all you can consider the first one and two or you can consider the second one and three you can interchange the results also okay now the continuation of this will discuss another uh, third problem the simple problem in your syllabus we have, we have only simple problems that's the reason i consider i taken we are discussing only the simple problem here here the, the problem is uh, p into root x plus q into root y equal to root z. The given problem, the capital P is what? Root x and the capital Q equal to root y and the capital R equal to root z. So by using this, first we are going to form the subsidiary equation. So dx by root x and dy by root y and dz by root z. So you are, you are here, here the, that is what method of grouping you can form a group by using any two so you can consider that the first and second the two if you are going to consider like this dx by root x and dy by root y integrating on both the sides dx by root x and dy by root y integration of 1 by root x is what 2 root x equal to 2 root y plus c1 cancelling of to both the sides we are getting what root x minus root y equal to c1 similarly we are going to consider another two to form a group second and third uh, dy by root y equal to dz by root z integrating on both the sides dy by root y equal to integration of dz by root z integration of 1 by root y is 2 root y equal to 2 z plus c2 so cancelling the two on both the sides then uh, root y minus root z equal to c2 the required equation of pde is pi of root x minus root y then root y minus root z equal to 0 another simple problem the, <coughs> the same here uh, find the general solution of p tan x plus q tan y equal to tan z now here in the given problem capital p equal to tan x the coefficient of the small p capital q equal to tan y and or equal to tan z now here uh, to form this first we are going to form the always subsidiary equation or axillary equation so dx by tan x equal to dy by 
tan y then dz by tan z you are you are going to form a group by using by considering any two so first and the third we are going to consider this two dx by tan x d z by tan z integrating both the sides dx by tan x and d z by tan z now 1 by tan x you can put as a what cot x into dx then cot z into d z integration of cot x log sin x integration of cot z log sin z plus log of c1 and log sin x minus log sin z equal to log c1 log m minus log n log m by n log sin x by sin z equal to log c1 cancelling log both the sides your result is sin x by sin z equal to c1 this is the uh, first two first set of result again you are considering another two to form a group first and second then dx by what tan x equal to dy by tan y integrating this dx by tan x then dy by tan y integrating 1 by tan x you can write in the form of what cot x into dx then cot y into dy integration of cot log sin x here integration of cot the same log sin y plus log c2 applying the rule of uh, log sin x minus log sin y equal to log c2 apply the rule of log m minus log n you can write in the form of log sin x by sin y equal to log c2 cancelling log both the sides we are getting final sin x by sin y equal to c2 by combining these two results you can write the required pd in the form of sin x by sin z comma sin x by sin y equal to 0 <coughs> the another simple problem the same topic is a given problem is small p into y z plus small q into z x equal to x y yeah, I told you very clearly in the given problem the capital P should be coefficient of the small p that's why the capital P is y z and the capital Q equal to z x and the capital R equal to x y uh, the subject equation of the given problem is dx by y z and dy by z x and d z by x y we are going to form a group so we are going to consider to form a group first and third we are going to consider this two dx by yz equal to dz by xy now you can cancel this y and cross, mul uh, cross multiply that x you are getting dx into dx and z into dz you are going to integrate both the sides x square x x into dx x square by 2 integration of z z square by 2 plus c1 and taking a 2 in the common your result will be x square equal to z square 2 into c1 again you are going to get the same c1 then x square minus z square equal to c1 and you are considering another 2 to form a group consider first and second to form another group you are getting dx by yz equal to dy by zx now here in both the cases z is coming common you are cancelling the z 
and cross multiply this variable here x into dx equal to y into dy integrating on both the sides integration of x again you are getting x square by 2 integration of y is y square by 2 plus c2 taking a call to the common if you are going to cancel these two here you are getting x square equal to y square 2 into c2 again we are getting the same c2 then x square minus y square equal to c2 the required equation the required equation of the pde is the combining these two results you can write like this pi of x square minus z square and x square minus y square equal to zero the another simple problem the same <coughs> the same topic the given problem capital p again here what is that x and the capital q equal to z y and the capital r equal to x y the subject equation of the given problem is dx by z x and dy by z y equal to d z by x y now you are going to form a group you can consider any two to form a group so now i consider to form a group the first and second dx by zx dx by zx equal to dy by zy z z cancel then you are getting the term is remaining dx by x and dy by y integrating on both the sides integration of 1 by x is log x equal to log y plus log c1 then log x minus log y equal to log c1 log m by n rule if you are applying here you are log x by y equal to log c1 cancel log both the sides log x by y equal to c1 again you are, you are going to form a group by using a another two suppose we are considering second and third then dy by z y equal to d z by x y here you are considering y in both b a y is a common in both now here x into dy equal to z into dz integrating on both the sides x integration of dy integration of z into dz so integration of dy become y equal to z square by 2 plus c2 so <coughs> uh, taking a uh, 2 in common we are getting what 2 x y equal to z square plus c2 then 2 x y minus z square equal to c2 we are going to combine these two to get a final result you are writing a result the required result in the form of pi of x by y comma 2 x y minus z square equal to 0 this is the required equation of the PDU thank you we will continue the second method the method of uh, multipliers by using multipliers and next class thank you